Hi, Stevie. It's Bye. I hope you. Hi, Stevie. Hi, Bud. I hope you're doing all right. I've had to call you Bud because uh, my Apple human that lives inside my phone thinks it's called Stevie and it's not. So I hope you're all right and I miss your face. Give us a shout. I miss you. I miss you, Bud. What the hell has happened to your voice? I know it's been a while since we've spoken, but oh my God, you sound so different. The lockdown's killed you. <laughs> Stevie B! Why do I sound Australian? Stevie, you there? Stevie B! Kill your voice. You do sound Australian, but you sound butch. I'm, uh, I'm really good, actually. You know why I'm really good, though? I've got some massive news. I've had my jab on the weekend. I am now half vaccinated with COVID. Way! <laughs> you had your first little prick like. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten how life was in the gutter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of the gutter with Betty Ball. <laughs> No, I jokes, I jokes, I jokes. Oh, I'm buzzing for you. Actually, I had the AstraZeneca jab, and I tell you what, man, it was incredible how how well organised it was, man. Brilliant. Ah, oh, tell us a bit more, because I don't like needles in the slightest. So I heard that there's a couple of people, like some of the lasses where I work, are doing some voluntary work where they, I'm guessing they coordinate people going in and out. Is that how it works? I tell you what, you wouldn't last five minutes because I know you've got this massive fear of needles, haven't you? See, I could have like done the Betty Ball side of it and said you, you've got a fear of little pricks, haven't you? <laughs> it was superbly organised. I got there, there was somebody on reception checking who your name was. You got sent down to a room. You had to wait a socially distance in a queue where there was only two people in. So I got in within half a minute. When you went into the room, there was ten nurses set at ten tables. Sat at the table straight in front of me. She asked me a couple of key questions like, am I allergic to anything? Do you feel needles in any way? Have you got any allergies? So it was fantastically organised. And just as I looked away, she gave me the, the vaccination. I didn't fail a thing. She gave me a card. She asked me to reboot another one within 12 weeks. And I was in and out within three minutes. She says, you might feel a bit drowsy afterwards, so I advise you sit down for 15 minutes. Which I did, I just sat in my car and I was fine. But either that night or the next morning, my arm was really hurting. It was just really sore and I couldn't really lie on it. But I'm fine now. Brilliant. That's the thing, isn't it? Loads of people have different side effects. Some people feel really ill. Like when my kid, which is my brother, for people who don't know Geordie Slang, had it. He said the next day had severe headaches all the time. But my dad just felt really like drowsy and slow and a bit off. So you just had a gammy arm. But do you think that now, since you've had it, do you feel more protected? Do you feel better when you go outside? Because I'm still unprotected as such and I'm still a bit wary. Do you know what? I, I don't feel any different, but I now understand what's worrying people because I think if you notice, there's more and more people seem to be more active. I've seen so many people now, annoyingly, not wearing masks and standing in you know, groups of three and four. And I think some people psychologically think if you get this jab, you can get your life back. No, that's, that's not true. One, you're only half vaccinated, you need a second one. And they said even if you get a second one, they're talking about having uh, booster jabs as well. I think I feel psychologically better. I still consider myself in lockdown. I still think you've got to be cautionary with everything. You've got to take one step at a time. But you know what it is? I feel, I feel great that I've got it. And I feel like I've got one step in the new normal, whatever that's going to be in June. Well, I'm glad you feel comfortable with a little prick. Because in 12 weeks' time, you got another one. Happy days. This is a new thing I've learned about you during lockdown, Stevie. You're very adaptable. I am adaptable. I can adapt to anything, me. I'm like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, I am looking forward to whenever the next one is. Ali, my wife, she uh, she got a second job a while back because obviously she's a community nurse, so she has to have them. Her arm was really killing and she felt very groggy afterwards. And apparently the second one, a lot of people are having different different symptoms they're having different it's affecting them in different ways so i'm really looking forward to to the next one and where we're going to go what about you though betty you must be due around about june time or july because obviously you're a lot younger i have actually no idea when i'm supposed to get my job i would like to get it started if i'm honest because i feel like the way the world's going at the minute if you don't have your jobs or anything like that you might not be able to leave the country and i would quite like to go on holiday when it's safe and legal to do so 
So the sooner the better, really. So I can just be on the next step. I wonder if anyone else has had that job that we know. Actually, I, 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 I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. See, 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 see. You know on speakupsending.com, they've got that leave a voice message button on the right-hand side. We should ask them to do that. Yeah, okay. If you're listening, I would like to hear you and your experiences of what happened when you had a job. So go to www.speakupsundon.com and click the button on the right-hand side, which is bright green, saying leave a voice message and let us know what your thoughts were about when you had your job. Oh, you little prick. And don't forget to leave your name and contact details so we can give you a little shout out on the podcast. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Listen, if anyone's listening, like Becky says, I'd really love to hear whether you've had the job, if your job's booked in, what experience did you have? Was it exactly the same as mine? Did you have a worse experience? Did you have a better experience? What did you think of how the NHS staff were? Just do what Becky said. Go on speakupsunland.com and on the right-hand side is this long sort of green button which says leave a voicemail and let's get as many people as possible. It'll be great to hear from you. Actually, come to think about it, Mum, dad, brother, I'm the only one in my family who hasn't had it. But I do want it. Because I really want to go on holiday. But that isn't going to happen anytime soon. But I don't like needles. And they always lie to you when they, when they give you the injection. They go, you're just going to feel a little scratch. And it's not. It's not a scratch. Don't lie to me, woman. You are stabbing me with a needle. God, Betty, man, you're so dramatic, man. A stab. How would you stab somebody with a needle? <laughs> i tell you what, I'd be tempted if you were next to us. <laughs> I tell you what though, on a serious note, what I'm really looking forward to is, you know, now I've getting the job you asked us earlier about has it affected us in any way. I have actually started thinking about more about what it's going to be like around June time and after June and, you know, if we ever get through this lockdown and get into some kind of new normality. I'm just looking forward to seeing, I'm actually looking forward to the pub because I think you forget, you know, when you've had everything taken away from you, I miss... Meeting all my friends in a group and meeting all my family in a group and just sitting having a drink together and getting chilled and getting mellow and, and sitting in a beer garden and I miss holidays. Obviously, I've been away for probably two years now. But do you not think when everything goes back to whatever this new normal is going to be that everyone's going to go a bit feral and a bit wild? I mean, the North East is known for being a bit of like the party cities, Newcastle, Sunderland, Tymouth, York... All these places, people come from all over to come and have a good night out. So I'm a bit sceptical because as much as I've missed everything and I have missed a good cocktail in the sun and talking to me friends and stuff, I am afraid that our lavish, crazy, emphatic lifestyle might send us skyrocketing backwards. So I don't know, I'm a mixed bag. But what I am looking forward to is going, this is because it's just me, going out to the shops and getting the bits and pieces from different shops that isn't going to come from the supermarket and go and have an, a meal out with the friends and maybe at the end going for a cocktail. That's what I'm looking forward to. But all in time, I'm in no rush to everything open again. What are you missing? Or more importantly, what are you looking forward to? When you get out of lockdown, what are you looking forward to most about what the future is going to be? Let us know. Speakupsunland.com. Go on our website and then click on the little green button on the right-hand side. Leave us a voice message and we'd love to hear you from you. Also, I think my thighs are really looking forward to the gym because, man, they're close. They're getting together so much now and they weren't before. All hail the gyms. Get the gyms back up and please. As my thighs say. Well, Stevie, I've got to go now. I'm cooking gyozas because there's nothing left in the house and I'm clamming. So much love. Stay safe. Give us a bell if you need out. Uh, Try horn. Right, Betty's talking about the thighs, so there's a good, there's a good reason to leave. Right, I'm off. Anyway, Betty, it was nice to talk to you. I've missed you. I've missed giving you a hug when I see you. Everybody, just stay safe out there. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're all going to get through it together, and we're all going to get our new normal back. So let's do it together. Let's stay safe. And don't forget, speakupsunland.com. Go on to our little leave a voice message. <laughs> Leave a voice message. Why was that a tongue twister? Yeah, leave us a message. We'd love to hear from you and we'll speak to you soon. Take care.